At four tenths of an inch lives and works more microbes than the total number of humans who have ever been born. Wow. So that we th we we think that like we're in charge. Yeah. But we're just a we're an darkened Uber anaerobic vessel of fecal matter for microbes. We're an Uber ride. <laughs> That's what we are. We're an Uber ride for microscopic organisms. For microbes. Mm. I mean, these microbes on the planet must have a phenomenal amount of intelligence collected over three and a half billion years. But they couldn't do long division, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, but, well, but I mean, they don't have a mind, and obviously they can, do, they, they can live in homeostasis with each other and with the world. Their main benefit is that they now can connect to our brains and can influence a much a, a conscious entity. But what, I mean, so they, they, they do have a mind. So if we've got the original gut microbes, the OGs, as we now like to refer to them, three and a half billion years? They've invented their own language. They've got. They've had to have an own, their own alphabet of sorts. So how are they communicating with us from their little hidey hole in the gut? You know, they have m millions of genes compared to our, you know, meek number of ten thousands. In these genes is stored all this information: how to build these molecules, how to how to use them. So their language is basically stored in in in, in their genome. So their and own history of three and. Yeah, oh, yeah. Heavens. And, um, billion, three and yeah, say, I know. I was, I was about to swear before I got to the B. B billions <laughs> and billions. Okay. So then when they settled, the first microbes settled in this floating tubes uh, of, of the first, you know, marine animals. They interacted with these floating tubes and there's something called lateral gene transfer that they transferred some of these genes that they had about their language into these animals. And you know, fast forward, that was the first version of the so-called little brain of the gut or the enteric nervous system. And then with animals developing heads, becoming polar organisms, some of the same information about language was transferred to the brain. What is a polar organism? Having a head and the opposite end, whatever that is. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, so our language, our ability to think comes, uses the same building blocks as the microbes developed over billions of years. I mean, that to me is one of the more That's fascinating ideas. Incredibly fascinating.